53. What is the molar mass of a gas if 0.281 grams of the gas occupies a volume of 125 milliliters at a temperature of 126 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 777 torr? Ooh, lucky, 777. Okay, so remember, with the gases, we're going to list everything that we got, and then we can figure out what formula we're going to use. They asked for the molar mass, so I'm going to label that as mm, molar mass is question mark. Now they gave us the mass of the gas, right? So I do have a mass value, which is 0 0.281 grams, and they gave me a volume. So volume equals 125 mils. And the temperature, so they gave us a temperature of 126 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is 777 torr. Okay, so no sets of units here. I have one single variable for each, right? One volume, one temp, one pressure. So the combined gas law is out. Um, and now we just have to decide whether we're gonna use PV equals NRT, or PMM equals DRT. Well, since they're asking for a molar mass, chances are we're gonna use the derivation, right? This formula, PMM equals DRT, mainly because we're solving for MM, which is molar mass. Okay, so molar mass, that's what we want. And remember, molar mass is always grams per mole. So that means that we have to have these four other units. Well, we always know what the R is, right? It's 0 0.0821, and the units for this are very specific, which is why all the other units are, have to be specific. ATM times liter divided by mole times Kelvin. So for the pressure then, since the R value is hooked in with ATM atmosphere, the pressure has to be an ATM. Oh boy, they gave it to us in tour. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna convert lucky sevens to, uh, to ATM, right? We gotta turn this into ATM. So let's go for it. 777 tour. We don't want that. Remember when we're converting, we just times by a ratio. We throw the unit down at the bottom and then ATM goes up on the top. Now here is the big four list of pressure units and they're all equal to each other. So you just have to you know, memorize these, but just for this one, pick the two. One ATM equals 760 tor. So one ATM equals 760. Get rid of the tor. And now we have ATM, 777 divided by 760. I'm going to give this a few uh, places after the decimal because this is not the final answer. So try not to round. So maybe I'll just say 0 0.022, uh, maybe we'll do four, and that's ATM. Okay, so we have pressure. We're looking for the molar mass. D stands for density. And the T is temperature, right? That's Kelvin. So, oh boy, they gave it to us in Celsius. I feel like they're always gonna give it to us in Celsius, but we gotta convert to Kelvin. That one's easy, right? We plus 273. So 126 plus 273 is 399. 399 Kelvin. So we have the temperature. Now we just need to figure out what the density is. Well, remember a density is just a mass divided by a volume. Now in this case, the units for density is gram because the G is locked in with the molar mass and the volume is gonna be liters because that's locked in into the R value. So it has to be in units of G divided by L. So let's see, can we find a density from what we had? Oh, well we have a G, so the density is going to be that amount of grams, 0 0.281, and maybe I'll just put a G here. And now it has to be divided by a liter, aka a volume. Oh boy, they gave us mils. So the first thing is, 
is I got to convert that into liters, and then I could plug it in on the bottom. But we know how to go from mils to liters, right? You just divide by 1,000. Similarly, you just take the decimal and move it over three spots. So this would be 0 0.125 liters, and that's what goes at the bottom. Now I will have my density value. And once again, try not to round here because this is not the final answer, but comes out to be 2.248, and that's grams per liter, which now we have the density. So that's a check, our value got. We got everything except for the molar mass, so let's just plug it in. Pressure is 1.0224 times the molar mass, which is x, equals the density that we just found, 2.248 times the r value, uh, 0 0.0821, and then the temperature in Kelvin we found out to be 399. We want to solve for x, so what I'm going to do is I have to divide on both sides by the 1.0, that looks like a comma, 1.0224 on both sides. And that gets rid of this, goodbye. And now we have x, which is the molar mass. Okay. So 2.248 times 0 0.0821 times 399 divided by 1.00, oop, 1.0224. And now we have three sig figs that we started with. So 72.0, and then remember, molar mass is always grams per mole. So that is the final answer. So this molar mass of whatever the gas is, is 70 grams per mole. Okie dokie. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and tell your friends, tell your classmates. We might be able to help them out as well. I think this channel is pretty cool, right? Hopefully. <laughs> Thank you so much. And my brother and I, we truly do appreciate you guys, all right? So thanks for viewing, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.